Music comes in many colors. Red, green, black, yellow. The music will get you. The music gonna get you. Welcome back for another session with me at Tech Diva and the Luxury Lifestyle. Tech tools, hot jazz, passionate living. The music's going to get you. That's what my plan is today. So enjoy some music, and I'll be back shortly. Mm-hmm. 
Almighty, Zenobia here, Tech Diva, and the Luxury Lifestyle is the show. Welcome, 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 welcome. Back another week. Baby steps, but we're getting more and more and more, more and more and more stuff together. Trying different camera angles. We moved a camera and all kinds of good stuff. Anyway, we're here in the middle of Los Angeles. It is noontime in Los Angeles, but I am live wherever you are, any time of day or night, any part in the world. This is a global show. This show caters to a global audience. We're all over the world, and you're going to get a lot of tastes of different parts of the world as the show progresses. I got some nice, really fun, fun things. Tech Diva and the Luxury Lifestyle. We do technology tools and toys, we do hot jazz, and we do passionate living. And the passionate living part is very important. I'm gonna show you and interface with people who can give us, because I have to include myself here. I am overworked, underbalanced. <laughs> so this is an opportunity for me to talk about and go do some fun things to do balance that I believe you're really going to enjoy. And I'm gonna have you do some homework because you will have homework. Okay, thank you, Big Mike. Thank you, Chris. <laughs> I'm talking to the wrong camera. We'll get that together. It needs to flash or something. Oh, okay. Anyway, this is why it's so cool to do TV on the internet because you can do this kind of stuff and get it straight. And have a lot of fun. I mentioned Chris and Big Mike. They're my team back there. You don't see them this time. But they're back there making all work while I be front of camera. Normally, I'm behind the camera. I'm behind the scenes making other people look good. But this is my chance. Anyway, global show. we got some really cool things coming up on a global level that I think you're really, really going to enjoy. Um, right now, we're I'm broadcasting here out of RMC Studios in the middle of LA. And this is very comfortable. Thank you, Johnny Morris and team here for making me very welcome here. And we will be, okay. <laughs> we will be roaming around the country and the globe later on, but right now, while we get our feet wet, while I get the technology together, Tech Diva here is working it out. So the first piece that Tech Diva has gotten together is the YouTube. So last week's show is now up on the YouTube channel, and it's a channel called Tech Diva and the Luxury Lifestyle. Duh. <laughs> that should make it easy for you to search YouTube to find it and subscribe because when you subscribe, you can get an email that knows when the next show is posted. So go to youtube.com and search Tech Diva and the Luxury Lifestyle. That would be me, you'll find me there. And uh, in the next few weeks, you'll find me on live stream and some other places and also on a special Tech Diva and the Luxury Lifestyle website which is about 80% done. So I'm not gonna tell you where that is just yet. So in the meantime, if you do wanna reach out to me, do the email, tdll at att.net, tdll at att.net. That of course is Tech Diva and the Luxury Lifestyle at att.net, but don't spell it out, just do tdll at att.net net remember dot net last week we talked about oh let me talk about the music okay so i think i've got some really cool music today that you won't hear on the radio most of the times at least not in this area so the last song that you heard was called mood swings it's by analog tara and it's from an album called at the switch hotel and prior to that was a tune called antoine and uh, the group is called, the artist is called Garage A Trois. They have some really cool music. I'm going to be playing some more stuff from them later. And the album is Autre Mer. And leading off the show was The Music's Gonna Get You. And that's 
uh, by a group called Jam Hunters, and the album is Jam Hunters. And I loved starting the show off with that song. I, I purposefully pick or curate, almost an overused word, um, the music that opens the show because that sets the tone for the show. And I think that um, that's very important because I want to get you guys off of whatever you're doing before you got here and get into the Tech Diva Zone. Okay, so we're going to have some more music, lots of music today. Last week we talked about mobile security. I'm going to do mobile security part two today. A few more tips, and hopefully you did some homework, and you at least thought about if you didn't do anything. At least it's on your consciousness that you got to be aggressive about how you secure your mobile phone and your data. Remember, I think I have the, uh, the chart. I'm going to see if Chris can put it up. Remember, the average person has about $37,000 worth of data on their cell phones. So you can imagine if you're a business person like me, I got way more than that. So would you just have that laying around someplace unsecured? No. So don't do it with your phone. So anyway, back to some music and a little change of pace in the music, but enjoy. Tech Diva and the Luxury Lifestyle, Tech Tools, Hot Jazz, Passionate Living. See you in a bit.
get freaky now.
Zenobia. I'm back. How are you? You know, it's the middle of the summer already. It's halfway through July for us. Well, Northern Hemisphere, it's summer. Southern Hemisphere, well, hopefully you guys aren't in too much cold and snow. Um, anyway, welcome back. Zenobia here at Tech Diva and the Luxury Lifestyle. And what we talk about here and what we experience here is some technology, schooling, tooling up, getting the, oh, what's that out of the way. So you'll be learning a lot of new stuff, but hopefully at a pace where you can say, oh, that's what that is. And I will let you know if that's something that you need to totally ignore or if you need to incorporate into your world to make your world work better. And of course, the hot jazz. What do you think about the music? Have you, where have you heard this music? Today especially, where have you heard this music? I could name one place maybe. Anyway, so what you just heard was Get Freaky Now, and that's the acid jazz mix. I like a lot of acid jazz. And that was from a group called S-Tone Inc., and it, uh, it's from an album called Acid Jazz Soul um, 20 Jazzy Tracks. Prior to that was a tune called Sushi Pimp. I heard the song and I thought, oh, that is really cute. And then when I saw the title, I'm like, oh, yeah, that works. <laughs> and it's by a group called Nappy, G-N-A-P-P-Y, <laughs> Nappy. And the album is called Unloaded. Really cute, cute tune. I love that. Makes me feel good. And leading off the set was I Don't Know Either. This is, uh, going back to old school jazz, the Brecker Brothers. If you've been around for a long time in the jazz world, you know of the Brecker Brothers. Two brothers who very much heavyweights. Um, and so I had to pull this out. You'll see me pull out some classic tunes all the time and just kind of throw them in the mix. And uh, that was from a CD called Detente. So hopefully you're enjoying the music and taking a time out in the middle of your day, your evening, your afternoon, your siesta, <laughs> wherever you are in the world. So we're going to talk a little bit more about mobile security. And But before I do, I want to mention, before I mention that... Um, you can find the, the show on YouTube now. It has its own YouTube channel, Tech Diva and the Luxury Lifestyle. So if you go to youtube.com and do a search, you'll find it. You'll save it in your cache, and then you'll always be able to go back there. But better yet, subscribe, and I will let you know when the next show is posted. Um, but when you go to the channel... You'll also see that there's some other Tech Diva and the Luxury Lifestyle clips there, which I have put up intentionally. This is not my first go-round at this show. I did the show previously on another network a couple of years ago. So what you'll be seeing there are some clips from the show back then. Uh, some of my road escapades that I actually talked about on the show as topics. And um, it'll give you a taste, a preview of where the show is, where it's going to take you, what you're going to experience. So just fool around and check out some of the clips. I haven't really done much with them, but one of the clips, I love sushi. Sushi pimp. I love sushi, and I was with a friend at a sushi bar and I just happened to sit down and take a video of my sushi chef making a dish. I looked up this morning, I haven't even looked at the clip. It was just something I did on my iPhone while I was having sushi and sake. And it's got 1,300 views. So people are liking that, <laughs> which is really cool. So you'll find some different clips, and along the way with the show, I'll be out and about taking video of where I am, and one day you'll be going with me. So I will be posting those clips on the YouTube channel, and you'll get a chance to um, experience different aspects of the show that I take on the road. Very much a road warrior. Everything will not be just in the studio as much as I love it. Okay, mobile security. We talked last week about this now is um, being attacked 
by hackers. And I went through a lot of uh, the difference between, to get you um, some groundwork there, the difference between the Android, Linux, open source operating system versus the iPhone. Right now I don't have the Android phone here, but um, versus the, um, the Apple iPhone iOS. Um, and why Androids have a 37% increase in mobile hacking in just the last few months. I do have a, what's called an infographic. That's a new, what's that term? An infographic is simply a graphic that will show you charts, graphs, it's just a graphic, but it has a lot of detailed information and pictorial information so that you get to, um, uh, so you see the point of what the infographic is about. So in a minute, they're gonna show you the infographic, and I mentioned last week about um, how there are over four billion, and that's probably increased since last week, four billion cell phones, the smartphones, cell phones out there for the seven billion of us that populate this planet. And I also just mentioned a minute ago, $37,438 worth of data content on the phone um, on average. And for those of us who our phone is our office, we have much, much more. So yes, we do have to think about securing it. So I went through um, some tools and some information for you to consider and hopefully move on. And so I've got a few more today. So once they switch out of the graphic and switch back to me, then, then uh, I'll tell you some more about uh, some of the tools, some more tools and more things that you need to do. One of the things that I talk about and you'll hear me be your mother about is doing, backing up your data, okay? And I think I mentioned that last time also. There are, um, you really need to back up your data, okay? On your phone, you know, don't do the, oh, I don't know how or, or, you know, oh, I don't have a cable. Oh, I'll get to it later. Because later could mean disaster and you have nothing. And it's 2014. As I always say, it's the middle of 2014. It's going away fast. I do not need to hear about, oh, I lost all my numbers. Oh, I lost all my emails. Or I get a frantic text from off of a friend of a friend's phone saying, okay, I need your phone number because I have to meet you. No, come on now, let's get over that. Let's get over that and learn how to back up your phone. I will have some more classes, uh, I'm sorry, some more segments about backing up your phone, but I brought up the classes because my company, Media Tech Marketplace, also does classes and the classes that I'm focusing on right now are called Meet Your Cell Phone. So what I'm doing is empowering people to use their phone as their personal assistant. And if you have a business or you work for a company where you use your phone a lot, you can make this into your $60,000 a year business development partner. Do you all have 60 grand to pay somebody to help develop your business and bring your clients? Eh, not everybody. So how does that happen? Stay tuned. Stay with me and I will help you get there on that road. So, but that means also that you have to back up your phone. It's very easy. Now you can back it up to the cloud. We'll talk about the cloud also later on. But if you don't wanna be wired or, or actually do anything, there's ways that you can have it backed up automatically. And then also you can back up to your computer to using iTunes, there's all kinds of ways to back up your phone. Um, with the Android phones, because you have to do a Google email to do the Android phone, um, there's ways with the Android phone where it will automatically back up your phone. So just make it like brushing your teeth, please, okay? Just make it like brushing your teeth. Okay, another point is 
Okay, for those of you who do know your phones, don't hack your phone. Okay? So, there's all kinds of ways that people hack their phones and try and get around the way that the phones have been set up to use um, by the vendors, not by design. So, for instance, on the iPhone platform, it's called jailbreaking the phone. And what that means is that there's some codes that you can do so that you can put non-Apple approved applications on your phone. So outside of the two million apps that are out there that include all of the ones that um, have met Apple standards, they have very rigorous standards for development of apps on their phones for the iOS. And if you don't meet the standard, then you got to go back to the drawing board until you do, because there's just no way to get on there. So, of course, there are very smart people out there who can figure out and how to hack and get around just about anything. Just about anything. One of the things, this is kind of an aside, but it's the same point. Um, remember on your phone, your regular phone at home, you would get all these telemarketing calls? all the time and so the government came up with a federal registry called do the do not call registry where you could register your phone number so that telemarketers could not call your phone number okay i just tried to do that for my elderly cousins a couple of months ago and i registered went to register it online and they have a caveat on there that says, please note, due to the sophistication of hackers, this may or may not prevent them from calling. And now we're having a contest reaching out to the general public for someone to come up with a tool that is not hackable that we can use. That just really made me laugh, but it's true. Hackers, they're very smart out there, and you get some folks out there that, that know how to write code, and they can break anything. So what that means, coming back around to mobile security and the cell phones, is that with the Androids in particular, because they are open source software, it's like anybody can, anybody can write for that platform. Hackers are having a field day because the security of the code is not that great. There's a lot of holes in it, so once it's vulnerable like that, then anybody can write some code and, which can end up um, hacking your, your phone. So now um, you gotta think about that as well. So you know, do the right thing and don't hack your phone and keep it how it's supposed to be used. I've been tempted to jailbreak my phone, but I decided not to because I want what I have to use for business to work. Because once you start hacking into your phone, into the operating system and the apps on your phone, you can't really tell what's gonna happen with the operation of the phone. It may affect something that you really don't know. So don't hack your phone. Okay, I'll give one more real quick one and then we'll get back to some more music and I got a couple more points to talk about. And, um, the other, uh, yeah, one big thing now, a lot of people, I'm really big on this, is I go online to do some banking and to do shopping. So always log out of your banking websites and out of your shopping websites on your phone. You need to do it on your desktop as well, but now you need to do it on your phone. So be sure to close out the app on your phone. And... I decided, well, I figured that doing banking on my phone would be okay because the banks out of all the people, out of all the companies, I figured should have the best security and encryption out of anybody because that means dollars and cents to them. That means, well, not cents, but that means billions of dollars that they could potentially lose. So if they're keeping their stuff safe, then I figure I can piggyback off of that. So now, in the age, I'm sure you've seen some commercials if you're here in this country, 
where um, you can take a picture of the check and make a deposit now. You don't have to go in your bank to, or to the ATM to make a deposit. You can take a picture of it with your phone and the money will be access, accessible that night. Sometimes I'm all over the place and I can't get to the bank at 6 o'clock before it closes. And yes, I will snap that picture and deposit that check because some clients, you of course want to put the money in the bank and cash that check right away. So if you're a business person, that's one of the nice things about having mobile banking. But at the same time, close out, log out, and... um, Yeah, log out, log out of your banking websites, log out of eBay, log out of Amazon, especially Amazon where you're doing, or any of those sites where you're doing a lot of purchases. Uh, Be sure that you actually log out and log back in. I'm not real good at that. I should do that a lot more, but but do that. And, um, yeah, so we're going to talk some more over the weeks. I'm going to talk about why your cell phone runs slow because you don't log out and close out your apps on any of your phones and you wonder why your phone doesn't work that well. Well, I'm going to have some tips for you over the next weeks about why that happens and what to do about it. And um, that should help you. So some of you who think that you need to get a new phone because your phone doesn't work right, eh, you probably don't. And save that money and I'll help you to get your phone right. Okay, that's enough for the overload of the tech tips for right now. Let's go have some more music. I can still have a lot more music to go. Zenobia here, the Touchable Tech Diva. I'm helping you with your technology by making it touchable, less fearful, to make your world work better. Tech Diva in the luxury lifestyle. Tech tools, hot jazz, passionate living. Enjoy the music.
make it fine I wanna make it mine I gotta make it Make it funky, make it fine Make it simple, make it fine
Zenobia, Zenobia here, the Touchable Tech Diva, doing Tech Diva and the Luxury Lifestyle here live, wherever you are in the world, we're live, we're live. Um, let's see here, Snake Soda, that's what you just heard, Snake Soda, Scott Henderson, Steve Smith, Vital Tech Tones is the CD, and prior to that, Fundamentally Sound, little change of pace there, Chuck Loeb, and the CD is All There Is, and leading off the set there, oh no, we did Hang Time, Wayman Tisdale, R.I.P., very cool bass player, you'll find out that I love the bass, bass is my favorite instrument, so you'll hear a lot of Marcus Miller, and maybe I'll take you back in the day, and you'll um, hear Ron Carter, for those of you who are really avid jazz lovers, you will remember the name Ron Carter. And leading off the set was a tune called Make It Mine, Spiral Gyra. That's a classic, old school jazz group, Spiral Gyra. And that's from the CD called Down to the Wire. Okay, we've been doing more mobile security. I'm going to get into a couple more points uh, in a little bit. I think we're going to hop back into the music for a second so I can bring up my graphic. I'm over here messing around and lost my graphic. So anyway, enjoy the music. This is Tech Diva and the Luxury Lifestyle Show here live right now. Every week. Right now we're doing this every week. And if you want to reach me, tdll at att.net. tdll at att.net. Send me an email. I will be posting, as I mentioned, I posted last week's show on YouTube.com and you search on Tech Diva and the Luxury Lifestyle and you can leave me a message there or leave a comment there as well. Okay, a little bit more music. See you in a bit. Thank <laughs> you. 
Thank you. Good up for Eric right. Castro on the Reunion. guitar. Reunion. Nice jam, nice jam. Reunion by a group called Lettuce. You know, like the food, Lettuce. <laughs> Cute name. This is Live in Tokyo. Uh, it's the CD. Reunion. Prior to that, a tune called Moonshine. I sometimes wonder where artists get the names of their songs and what they were and what place and time they were in to come up with the names. But most of the times they end up being like really appropriate. Okay, Moonshine, a group called Tribal Tech. I like Tribal Tech a lot. You'll be hearing a lot of that. And the CD is called Rocket Science. It's got a really cute CD cover to it. So check it out. And uh, prior to that, Blueberry Cave, one of my special groups, Garage Mahal. You'll hear a lot from them. And that was their CD called Blueberry Cave. Zenobia here, Tech Diva and the Luxury Lifestyle. Styling, we got a little bit more to go. I got a couple more um, tips about mobile security. And be on the lookout for a show coming really, really soon about a passion. I haven't done passionate living stuff yet. I've kind of done the technology stuff. So we'll take a little break. But one of my passions is sake. (laughs) So look for um, a show coming soon about what do you know about sake i don't know that much i just i'm starting to learn about the different flavors where they're from how they're made why cold versus hot and um yeah i have some good people that um know a lot about this one restaurant i go to he says he has the biggest sake collection on the west coast but we'll see but he has a lot to say about that and that's going to be a show and tell show Okay, we will be doing show and tell. Okay, so back to a couple more mobile security tips. I was uh, speaking earlier about banking and doing banking on your mobile phone. And one of the things that, um, oh, let me back up one more time and say that I, uh, the information that I'm giving you, a lot of it I know about, but I'm pulling some info from, especially the infographic from PC, PCM. They used to be called PC Mall here, the big computer sales organization online. And um, now they changed their name to PCM because it's cooler. Anyway, they sent me an email and uh, it just reminded me of how even more important it is to deal with mobile security. So uh, all kudos to them for their infographic and for some of the... um, points that I'm talking about today. And so I want to wrap up real quickly. When you're doing your online banking, um, be sure to use their app. So go and download their particular app because it's designed specifically for the banking. If you do it through a browser on your on your um, cell phone, you still leave yourself vulnerable. Uh, because normally you keep your browser open all the time. You don't really, you know, quit your browser on your phone. So, and then they have specifically put a lot of work into designing that application so that it's encrypted and it's a lot more secure than just going to their website, their online banking website on your phone, especially if you're on an Android. Okay, so keep that in mind is to download their app. Okay, another big point is we're in this world of texting. We text more than we talk. Okay, so I end up texting. I had to change my text plan because my daughter would never answer the phone, and but she would reply to a text. So she was texting so much it blew up my plan, my data plan on my cell phone. So I had to change to unlimited texting. Okay, I bring this up because we do a lot of texting. Avoid texting any of your personal information. And don't put a whole slew of personal information in one text, okay? No, zero, no. So because um, texts are kind of vulnerable, once again, if you're not securing your phone... That's another way that your data can be read, another place where it can be read. So if you have to text your personal information, break it up or make it in some way that it's not easily discernible that you're sending your social security number. 
okay? So, I mean, that's just a no-no to me. And I'm not even, I should not even encourage you to even do that. Just don't do it. But if you have to, you know, do it in a manner where it's not easily recognizable. And, um, and then just don't put a whole slew of stuff in there. Um, actually, let's see, what's the next thing? Oh, the big thing is... Even on your computers, I talked about it last week where my friend, she thought that she was buying something from a reputable company and it ended up that they destroyed her whole checking account. She has to do all of her banking because, you know, we store, we do a lot of online banking and we have our credit cards or our bank accounts already stored with the, um, with the vendor, like we're paying our bills, gas bill, electric bill. So now she has to go back and change all of that. So an easy way to avoid this happening until they catch on and do it another way is if you see, like it happened to me yesterday, if you see an, um, an email that says, you know, something that you're interested in buying or something that's really cool on Amazon. This is a perfect example with me. It wasn't on my phone, but it could have been on my phone and email on my phone. It came through an email and it said Amazon store. And I said, hmm, but the way I have my mail client set up, I can look at the email address that that came from. It looked really legitimate, a nice ad and all that stuff. It looked like real Amazon. But I went over and I clicked on the email that it came from. I don't remember exactly what it was, but it was like somebody's personal email. That's a clue right off the bat that that is not a legitimate Amazon website or that's not a legitimate site. So before you start clicking on any links... So that told me don't click on any links at all in that email because they weren't going to really go to the right place anyway. And it was dangerous because it could have created a Trojan horse, all kinds of crazy stuff, and tracker um, files on your computer to take all your data, kill your PC or whatever. Same thing can happen on your, on your cell phone. Okay, so... Look at the emails closely on your phone even and check to see what the email address is that it's coming from. And, you know, you can look at the email and if it says something, you're in the United States and it says somebody's name at dot, you know, D-E. That's a different country. That is not Amazon. Okay, Amazon would not have an email like that. So don't even click on any links whatsoever in that email and just delete it as soon as you can. And you want to, um, uh, and the same thing now can happen with QR codes. So you've got to be real careful. I'll talk about QR codes, uh, Zinger, that's a what's that, um, where they go to websites and you want to be careful of where you um get that QR code from so that you know that when you scan it, it's going to take you to a legitimate website. Okay, and I think I'm putting you on tech overload, but one more thing. Just a little statistic here. 32% of people believe they don't need security software on their devices. Well, I think I've told you enough to make you believe it that you probably need to think about it. So there are... um, Uh, products out there that you can put on your phone now, Um, security products just like Norton, Antivirus, McAfee, they are coming up with uh, solutions for that. So yes, it's one more thing that you have to install on your phone. And um, I'll explore that in another show in terms of my, um, my experiences with those. Actually, I do not have the um, mobile security on my phone yet. I'm working on getting that. I'm figuring out which one I'm going to use and I'll let you know because I will have done the homework for you. Okay, so hopefully I have at least put it on your mind (laughs) that you need to think about and investigate how you're going to keep your data and your life because now it affects our lives. What happens on our phone affects our lives too. Not just, you know, a phone call anymore. And you will begin to um, 
at least take heed and do some of the things that I've mentioned here. If you, by chance, don't remember, there's a couple of ways to deal with that. You can go to the YouTube channel. I'll be uploading this show uh, in a couple of days. Go to the YouTube channel at Tech Diva and the Luxury Lifestyle channel. Last week's show, the part one of our mobile security is posted there so you can rewatch the show. And you can subscribe so that you don't have to try to remember, oh, I need to check back to see if that other show is uploaded. Subscribe and you'll get an email that will let you know that the show is uploaded. That's easy. And the other way, in case you're really concerned and you want some pointers, you can email me at TDLL. What is that? Tech Diva in the Luxury Lifestyle? TDLL at ATT.net and say, hey, I saw your show, I heard your show, and I do want to have some more information or I need help with finding this out. And that's what I'm about. That's what I'm here for. Okay, so we got a few more minutes left. Um, gee, I have a lot more music left in the show. <laughs> so we're going to play a couple more tunes. And it's been a pleasure to be here. This is kind of fun doing the new camera thing. We're trying new stuff out still. I got some other new stuff to try out. and um, But it's this is a lot of fun. Hopefully you're learning some stuff and you're enjoying the music. Yeah, email me and let me know that you love the music. Okay. And... Um, Soon, not yet, soon I'll have it so that you'll be able to actually buy these tunes and add them to your playlist, okay? Anyway, Zenobia here, the Touch with the Bull Tech Diva at Tech Diva in the Luxury Lifestyle. I'm live right now wherever you are on this planet. Enjoy, have a great rest of your week, and I'll see you next time. God bless.